Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-193 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is draw the shear and movement diagram for the shaft if it is subjected to vertical loadings of belt, gear and flywheel. The bearing at A and B exert only vertical reaction on the shaft. So, you can see this is the shaft and this is bearing A and B that exert only vertical reaction clear this is the gear where there is a 450 newton load there is a flywheel or belt you can see this 300 newton and there is a flywheel which have 150 newton so you have to draw the shear and movement diagram for the shaft so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this bearing at a so you will be having a reaction force let this is r a and if you remove this bearing at point b so you will be having a reaction force which will be equal to rb this distance is 200 millimeter or 0.2 meter this is 400 millimeter or 0.4 meter this is 300 millimeter or 0.3 so we'll find this ra and rb by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moments about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so about point a the first movement will be 450 into perpendicular distance is 0 0.2 when this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write it minus 450 into perpendicular distance is 0 0.2 meter the second movement about point a is this 300 newton load and the perpendicular distance is 0 0.6 meter and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive so plus 300 multiplied by 0 0.6 meter the third movement will be due to this rb into perpendicular distance is now 0 0.9 meter you can add them this is 0 0.9 this is counterclockwise so it will be positive so i will write plus rb into 0 0.9 meter and the last movement that is due to this 150 newton load and now perpendicular distance is 1.1 meter because when you add it it will be 0 1.1 meter okay so we will write this is producing clockwise movement so it will be negative so i will write minus 150 into 1.1 meter and this will be equal to zero so when you solve this from here you will get this rb will be equal to 83.33 newton now we will find this ra by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so ra is upward so ra this 450 is downward minus 450 plus this force is upward so it will be positive plus rb which is 83.33 newton and minus 150 is equal to zero so when you solve this you will get ra will be equal to 217 newton now you have ra and rb so we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so what we will do is that we will take two lines from the end of this beam one is this one and other one is this one there is a horizontal line to show the length that will be in meter x in meter on y axis you will be having a shear force having new unit newton okay so we will take one division is equal to 50 so this is 50 this is 100 this is 150 this is 200 similarly minus 50 it will be minus 50 minus 100 minus 150 minus 200 and minus 250 so we'll first draw the shear force diagram now at this point you can see you have ra which is 217 so we we'll locate 217 let this is this point is 217 newton 
so moving from point a till this load there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal till this point okay now here we have minus 450 newton that is acting downwards so 217 minus 450 will cause it minus 233 newton so at this point the load will be minus 233 so let 233 is uh, this point minus 233 so you see your shear force will change from 217 to minus 233 and moving from this load till this mid there is no other shear force so it will remain same horizontal till this point clear and you will draw a horizontal line okay now at this point you can see you have plus 300 upwards so minus 233 plus 300 will ca cause it to move to 66.7 newton so the load will be 66.7 so let 66.7 is this load this point 66.7 you can choose your own scale as well okay this is 67 now moving from this mid till point b there is no other shear force so it will remain same horizontal till this point so we will draw horizontal line till this point and again you can see you have plus rb so 66.7 plus rb is 83.33 will be equal to 150 newton so shear force will change to 150 so this will move to this point this point is 150 newton and moving from 150 till end there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal and at the end you can see 150 that is downwards so plus 150 minus 150 will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram now we'll draw the bending moment diagram so for that again i will need the space so let this is your horizontal line to show x in meter and here you have moment let each division is 25 so this is 50 similarly minus 25 and minus 50 okay at point x is equal to zero we have moment is equal to zero so your first point will be this one now first area under the shear force diagram is this area and you can see this area is this height is 217 and this width is 0 0.2 so 217 multiplied by 0 0.2 is equal to 43.3 newton into meter so we will locate 43.3 so let this is 43.3 this point is 43.3 newton into meter the unit is newton into meter and you can see shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so we'll join this two point using straight line now the second area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is equal to minus 233 multiplied by this 0 0.4 and this will be equal to minus 93.3 so plus 43.3 minus 93.3 will cause it to minus 50 at this length so we will plot minus 50 at this length so minus 50 is this point okay now this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree and this area is negative so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing so we'll join these two points using a straight line this is minus 50 now moving further the third area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is you can see height is 66.7 and this width is 0 0.3 and that will give you 20.01 so minus 50 plus 20.01 will cause it to minus 30 so at this length we will be having minus 30 so we'll plot minus 30 so let minus 30 is this point this is minus 30 and you can see this 
shear force is a horizontal line with a positive area so bending moment will be 1 degree higher and slope will be increasing so we'll join these two points using a straight line the last area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is 150 multiplied by this 0 0.2 which is equal to plus 30 so minus 30 plus 30 will be equal to 0 at this point and we will get the bending moment like this we will get a straight line and the slope will be increasing because the shear force area under the shear force is positive area and this is, is a zero degree line. So this is your bending moment diagram. And that was all about this problem 6-193. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching